My name is Devontae Lamont, and I'm from Anniston, Alabama. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, and bartender. I guess you could say I'm the jack of all trades. I've been doing photography since 2013. I used to have a photography studio in Oxford, Alabama. It started with just an idea. An idea that a dream may just come true. I did not know what I was getting myself into. But it didn't matter because I had faith. I had faith that it would work, that one of my many dreams may actually come true. I go to the Art Institute of Atlanta and I'm only two classes away from finishing my bachelor's degree. I'm so excited because I have so many projects in work outside of school and I'm just so excited to see these projects to be finished and I've worked with a group of people that are so amazing that believe in my passion and my dream. I just want to see all my dreams come to fruition, not only for myself, but for my family as well. I recently just got a house, so today I'm just doing a little painting to make my house my home. But I invited Paige and Avery to come over to view my new place. I'm sorry, I can't be what you want. Take me or leave me, cause that's what I'm on. Yes, I feel now. You say I'm at the strange, that's why I ain't say. Hi, everyone, my name is Page Marie. I'm a singer songwriter here in Atlanta, Georgia. Trying to get started with my singing career and get my feet wet with songwriting. I am a musical genius, so I aspire to be one of the greats and you know have longevity in the music business as far as it don't have to just be from being an artist. It can be from songwriting or from producing or collaborating or you know anything. I'm currently in school working on my master's degree to get uh, an entertainment business company. Basically, it'll be entertainment business management, but um, it'll basically focus on entertainment and production. Pretty much for myself, I see music, I see the big screen, I see the big lights, I see movies, I see Page, Marie everywhere doing everything. I want to make scarves, I want to make a clothing line. Well, I'm starting on a clothing line. As you can see, I got my Welcome to Hippie Nation going. That's my mixtape. Uh, I came to ASU, but I didn't think, I didn't have no plug down here. I didn't have no connect on the studio, no nothing. I started off and then I ended up getting with Ski. Hey. Ski put me down with Cloud Nine. Hey. DJ, go ahead and spin that Cloud Nine for him. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? And I really appreciate everybody who tuned in to Cloud9 and who liked Cloud9, who voted for Cloud9, or who called a radio to request Cloud9 or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Hippie Nation is Hippie Nation is everything. Hippie Nation is all green, everything. Hippie Nation is everything. Hippie Nation is my crew that I started. So after I came up with Hippie Nation, then I said, you know what? This, the music that I was making on um, the mixtape Welcome to Hippie Nation was what was going on in my life. So that's why the mixtape is called Welcome to Hippie Nation because it was like an introductory to my life. Show 
So today I'm going over to Devontae's house because he just got a new place and I am super excited to see what everything's going to look like. I love me some Paige, aka Paige Marie, as you may know her as the artist. Hey, Paige! Hi! <laughs> this is so cute. Thank you. I love you. Good to see you. I like you. Good to see you. I don't want to get painted. I love this. Okay, so th this was not supposed to be the color. What do you think about it? The blue? <laughs> Okay, it's gray. supposed to be gray. Okay. I painted my grandmother's house one color one time, and I had to go back and repaint it the whole thing again. So when it comes to paint, I want it to be perfect. Yeah. I need to be a little too much. Yeah, this this is cute. I love this window. Me too. And I, That's you what know, I love. I can just see you right here, just getting up every morning. Cut up, you know it. But my music, yes. I'm just trying. Right. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm just right. trying hey. to make it mama. For real. <laughs> so, Devontae's house is off the chain. He got a sunroom. Like, I love a sunroom. I'm big, big, big on energy and sunlight. So, to walk in Devontae's house and see the sunroom was amazing. What's up guys? My name is Avery Johnson, also known as the Keymaster. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, but I've been in Atlanta now for about 10 years, so I guess I'm from Atlanta. But uh, when I came to Atlanta, I started off doing some acting, bartending, working in retail, but now I'm in the real estate business, so I'm looking to build my real estate business, network with as many people as possible, and to make my presence known. Alright guys, come on in. So as you can see, there's a beautiful accented wall there. Nice TV, electronic fireplace. We got the hardwood floors throughout. As you can see, it's an open concept, so it's great for entertaining. Uh, you have pendant lighting here, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. Look how nice it is. Look at these, these beautiful sinks, the fixtures, and check out the stand-up shower, guys. It's beautiful. Everything that you see in this home, all the furniture, including the TV, the electronic fireplace, is all included. So if you are in the market to purchase a home, maybe even this home or another home, go ahead and reach out to me. This is Avery Johnson, the key master, unlocking your real estate needs, one key at a time. I met Paige at one of Devontae's gatherings. It was a while back, but I met her there. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she sang a song for us. He doesn't know yet. I think this is actually going to be probably his first live performance. So I'm going to ask him to perform with me at this show that I do every year called Cinco Day ATL. And uh, we're going to perform the mama song for Cinco Day if he's down. That I have on the fit, I want us to do the mama song. What? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. It's called Cinco Day ATL. It's my page. Hey, my heart is ATL. Yeah. I want you to come perform. What you with your crowd? No, seriously. For, yes. You think I? You think, yes. I, you think I good? Yes. What do you mean? So, so oh, speaking of, you know, we can be still down for the studio uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool. That's fine. So tomorrow, me and Paige will be going to finish up a song that I started. That I work for my mother. Windows got I'm waiting for the party. That's what we were just talking about. Housewarming. I really wasn't going to have another party to like uh, Memorial Day. So I like throwing parties, but it's so stressful. 
And like with me, when people come to my party, I want them to have the best time of their life. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Party time, party time, and Devontae's parties be on point. Food, drinks, and the people. Everybody be there. So I will be in attendance. I'll be the first, the CJ Cup to wash the roots up, man. Oh, man. I never tired of being lonely. Okay, okay. Who would I be without you? I only think about you. I was just saying it's you. So, baby, oh, 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 I think we should too. I mean, we don't have a date. For a house warming, at least. Yeah, we are booked. We got to see because, you know, our Saturdays and Sundays. Well, no, you was going to take your time to get it like you wanted anyway, so just do it when you get it together. Right, that's what I was thinking. That's why I should just do it on Memorial Day. Like I thought I said I was going to do it. Yeah, do it when you get it together. Because it's a house warming. You're going to be here. I know. All right, y'all. But let me get back to painting and. All right. Yeah. Let's be real. See y'all later. Later. <laughs> later. All right, love. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, Avery. Vontae has stormed out. I mean, he just left. This this shit ain't working. You sound good, but your shit ain't working. Basically, you know. Can you be tone deaf as a rapper? I don't think that's a thing. But like, I feel like I've wasted this whole studio time. Everybody. My name is Mark, also known as Mark with the Q, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker from Atlanta, Georgia. A lot of people these days cannot say they were born and raised in Atlanta, so I am a proud ATA. So this year has already been a pretty good year for me. I was a producer for Chase in Atlanta. I was also able to film and release my first short film called Fuck Love. This I want you to do. I want you to go a little bit further back and walk up this hard that makes sense? Yeah. The pan off thing. Okay, do that now. So now I'm trying to figure out what's next for Mark. What do I want to do? I am working on a project titled Van Montel with a really good friend of mine, Montel. He's a celebrity stylist. How's everything? Everything is love. That's good. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome back to work. Oh, back to work, back to business. Yes. Let's get it. Where do we? Um, so today, I basically, I just got to do a um, shoot. Um, well, I, I was going to do all pink shoot. This was just a um, statement, statement for my collection. But however, you know, my client got diagnosed with breast cancer. So I'm actually going to, yeah, I know, right, another thing. So I'm actually going to do a breast cancer type of awareness shoot. So I'm going to do everything oh, pink. Yes. But I also don't want to steer away too much from what I want to do personally. So I'm very excited to see what comes out of the future. I gotta focus on myself. That's what I had to realize at the end of the day. Especially, I don't have the time to be dating and to be invested in somebody because I know what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm, I have to focus on myself and how I can better myself as a person yeah. and professionally. I remember very vividly growing up and being inspired by the Steven Spielbergs and the Tyler Perrys and the Spike Lees. And I decided that I wanted to create my own path because I was very, very fascinated with filmmaking. So I'm very proud of the direction that I'm headed in. I'm beyond excited to bring all of my ideas to life because ultimately I feel like my purpose in life is to inspire people. So today I'm beyond excited. I am not only meeting up with one of my closest friends, Tiffany, I'm also filming the pilot for my new web series called Watch It Again with Mark. Come on, I'll call it. Why I gotta be the <laughs> One of us gotta be the no, alcoholic. Be the alcoholic. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> you right, it ain't. I, have, I am thoroughly impressed with my friend. She's on the come up. Or should I say she's on the way up. So I'm proud of you. This is so nice. Thank you. This Work is hard. really nice. I, yeah, obviously. And you decorate it. This is nice. I tried, I tried. It's been a while since I've seen her, especially after I got stood up 
50 of them times. All the games we got to play? Yes. Okay. But then we're gonna also get to know you too, because I want you to promote your business as well. All right, yeah, okay. of course. That's what it's that's it's that's what it's about. It's like for if you have a business, yeah. I wanna I wanna build a platform to where people can get the exposure that they need. So for me personally, I feel like it's a lot of dope creatives that are in the industry that are trying to you know navigate and trying to make it, and I think it's really important for people to support the people that you know are slept on honestly so i wanted to create a platform where you know different people can just be involved and just showcase their gifts and their talents so we can you know build a platform big enough to just showcase everyone i had a practice practice what say like what the opening oh to the yeah this is this is like the show oh <clears throat> be for real okay can i count down yeah i do count down action it's what I said, count. <laughs> countdown? She said countdown. Three, we we gonna say five or three? They don't really be counting, they be like. I should be recording all this. You funny. Who? You. I'm not funny. <laughs> You're funny. You're I'm funny, not. girl. You brought that. <laughs> Let me see. What the card say? Wait, I want to see what the card watch it again. Oh, Lamar. I thought it was going to say something else. What would it say? Mm -hmm. I don't know what games you got on playing. You ain't let me see the list. Yeah, I don't want you to be surprised. I'm going to be surprised. Friend. I'm going to try to keep it censored. Because you're recording. Please. I don't want to say nothing too crazy. Please. Okay, so, you ready? Yeah. You know it's hair everywhere, I'm sorry. That wasn't hair, but thanks. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm sorry. You can edit this. I'm nervous though. You can edit this like, make me look like. You already look good. No, I'm talking about like, you know. Anyways, you ready? Yeah. And three, two, one. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy. Mark with the Q, and we are here today to play Watch It Again with Mark. I'm finishing up the song that me and Paige started for my mother. My mother was diagnosed with a rare kidney disease where she was in the hospital for a month and they didn't even know what was wrong with her. She would swell up, her blood pressure would be high, she wouldn't be herself. Uh, at that time I was very like depressed and I didn't know what was going on. So I just decided that I'm gonna go into the studio and I'm gonna write a song. Seeing my mama sick make me sick. Seeing my mama sick, maybe want to quit. Unfortunately, the studio that I started recording the song with, they didn't have any lights. At this point, it didn't matter because I'm frustrated. I want to get this song finished. So tonight, I'm going downtown to meet Devontae for this studio session, and I'm excited. I'm ready to see what Devontae got. So, Paige, so what we're going to do is, come on, the hook part yeah. is off, and I'm just trying to make it my own. She, she's supposed to be I am right there. So far, everything is going smooth. Devontae has a really great song. This is what I want you to say, if you can. Okay. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up, on the way up. And then I'm going to say, I just got to make fun of my own way up, on the way up, on the way up. So I'm, I'm going to say something else. On the way up. Then I'll say something. On the way up. I'm just so excited that Miss Paget Marie decided that she would jump on a song with me because her voice is like so amazing. I'm just so happy and 
I just want to get the song finished so I can perform it for my birthday party because I'm dedicating it to my mom because you know she's here and I'll be 30 and I'm just very excited. Yes. But we're we gonna try to do it. And then I, I gotta check, I don't like my first verse at all. Okay. Uh, but I, it's certain parts I do like, but so I do want to re-record the first verse. The whole thing? I okay. can record the whole thing and then we can take out, like, play it. So I can, like, I, so what I don't like. Seeing my mama sick make me sick. Seeing my mama sick make me wanna quit. That part is cool. Everything I'm doing, I need to be right there with her. But I gotta get this money though. I gotta make sure everything keeps flow. Like, I feel like my delivery is like so. Like, I feel like I need to go, I feel like I was just, because I didn't know, I didn't, yeah. I knew the song, but I didn't know the song. I just think he needs to get a little bit more comfortable with the vibe of the song and how he feels in the song, and then everything will work out good. So I invited some people to our session. Okay. So I was invited by Devontae to come to the studio because I met him one time in passing and seems like he's doing a lot. So I definitely just want to be involved and I'm all for supporting people. And Hi, you are. nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alright, alright, so y'all wanna... Here, let's see. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm about to go to the group now. I gotta finish my part or whatever. Um, so. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't tell me you was bringing oh, nobody. I'm sorry, it was my assistant. Damn, can I get me an assistant? He got an assistant? Alright then, well alrighty then, buddy. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Trey Morris. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I'm an all-around entertainer. I'm an actor, I'm a singer, songwriter, and I'm a model. This year I'm trying to get my feet wet in a couple of different areas, uh, so I'm starting my own open mic event. I'm going to be uh, shooting the newest video for my single um, in honor of the one year release of it. Um, trying to finish up my album and you know I got a couple of different projects that I'm working on this year. So y'all come ride with me, we're going to have some fun. So another entertainer that I met, um, just you know, being around Atlanta, uh, reached out to me. Uh, Devontae called, and basically there was like a mishap with his studio session where he normally records, and so he asked me if I could put him in contact with my production team. So I walk in, and I, I guess I knew that some other people were supposed to be stopping by. What I didn't expect is like like a, a, a 90s rap studio where it's like 15 people and one person in a booth and you know just everybody just kind of loitering so i was like oh okay so i'm in a booth you know getting it finishing up the song a gentleman walks in with his bojangles cup and i see trey walks into the room and i'm like why are you looking like that? Like he had this look on his face like something stank or he smelled his, I don't know. But anyway, he just had this look on his face. So I come into the studio and of course I see Steven. Um, Steven's one of the vocal engineers that worked on my project. Um, Devontae's in the booth. Um, there's another young lady there and I think she's the feature on the song. So she's there. And then I see two other guys and then this one dude has his assistant with him, which I'm not really sure why she needed to be there. But again, some people like to travel with entourages and if it makes you feel better, then go for it. Hi, how are you? Are you sneaking here? Oh, um, what's with that look? I'm just nothing. I'm just observing. Observing, okay. Why are you looking like that? I mean... Uh, you mean what? You heard... How many seconds? <laughs> <laughs> you mean inside the door or outside the door? 
Well, I don't depend on how long you were outside the door. I mean, I was on the phone. So yeah, Diddy know. came in and basically was like, uh, it's a no. I mean, I mean, I love the beat. Mm-hmm. And whoever it is is singing the hook sounds really good. Oh, that'll be me. Yeah, come through. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. So I love that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, the lyrics aren't bad, but like we've talked about before, I'm just, your delivery, like you're trying to squeeze too many words into like little spaces where they don't go. Maybe it's not that there are too many words. I just, I don't know that I like the wordplay in general. But he just comes in and he just go ham. Like, this is bad, I don't like this, and blah, 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 blah. I think it might be what you said, the delivery, because it, when this was recorded, uh, he wasn't as comfortable as he is with the verse. Now, you, when you watch right. him, he's not recording with the phone in front of his hand now. He kind of knows the words. So you now. didn't know the words when you no, know I didn't. No. Uh-uh. So, so let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. Now something to drink. <laughs> Let me I think ask it's you just this like question. I, mm-hmm. the word. I also feel no emotion in that. Like this is for your mama, and I just feel like well, literally you read it off your phone. That's really that's what, what he happened. did. <laughs> I just said it. Nobody heard me say that. Nobody heard me say that. I just said that. This was recorded. Uh, he wasn't as comfortable as he is with the verse now. He set that chicken down and he went to work. He told us everything from A to Z. What was wrong with that song? I uh, knew I was gonna come I'm gonna make take a new smoke for so I had to get up because it was just a little too much. With the best out and competed and still remain undefeated. My power was never depleted. I got it, wanted to eat it. So as we're sitting there and you know, we're all, I feel like collectively throwing out advice and everything is constructive. Even what Trey is saying, it's constructive criticism, but it is all about your wording. Yeah, I appreciate that because I know something but it's not like, right. You know what I mean? It like, you know, like you don't have no passion. At all. But no, and but the no, second thing is, I got you. Let me just put this out here because everybody else is thinking it. So I'm gonna say, it. fire right. your damn vocal engineer. Whoever was the person who engineered this when you recorded the first time, fire them. It was Steve. No, it wasn't. Yes. I, I know better. I know better. Like I like the track itself, and I just too like. <laughs> let's go. Let's let's let me just let's go through it. Well, I'm just I'm not gonna rap it. I'm just gonna let me see these lyrics. Boys, lyrics. Uh, hold on. <laughs> and that's the thing about it is I'm not even a writer like that. Like that's seeing not my mom. mother this makes me sick. Seeing my mama sick made me wanna quit. Everything I'm doing, I need to be right there with her. But I gotta get this money though. I gotta make, make sure, sure everything is flow and go. You just show up like and you come in. You just like. Uh, well, I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm thinking to myself, well, who are you? You gotta, it's gotta be You gotta smooth. make love to the, okay. But right now, you, you not making love. You a 12 year old pumping. Like, you, well, you're not a grown ass man right now. I, I need you, you, you gotta get that. Okay. Like, you need that. The same way I needed some guidance when I first started doing music, I think he could use a little bit of the same. I can't take no more. Let me go holler at Paige. Oh, well, look. I have to go pull pins, right? Okay, you see, I got one uh, too. Cause, yeah. I feel like it was a lot of shade. Are they still doing doing background about the song? I guess so, but uh, but yeah. Yeah. Shade. Yeah. Shade. You cannot invite everybody to your session, and with the reason why is because people always have an input. They always got something to say. You know, you shoulda, coulda did this, you shoulda, coulda did that, but if it's not your song, you just should be quiet. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, so what'd you think about the song, though, overall? What'd you think about the overall, song? Overall, I actually like it. Like I actually, like I said, I don't know much about music mm-hmm. as far as, like, I guess what goes into, like, the right. song, right, stuff like that. But I do like what I hear. Mm-hmm. I do like, you know, it's just, like you said, the, the delivery. Right, but, yeah. But other than that, it's, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah, and they did. We can see. Yeah. It's hot as hell. Two hours. I don't like the video. What you put up? Make it up. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up, on the way up. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up. Which one? I don't watch it. Gotta take care of everything. Who your friend first? Why? Who your friend? 
Yeah, Lyric is one of my like, friends. Okay, like CJ is one of yeah. my friends. Okay. <laughs> I know Quentin. Okay, we can. You should stop there. You can stop there. Oh, we're going to write Borini. He said Borini. Shade is so thick in the air. I don't know that boy. All I know is that he knows that boy. What happened? What happened? What y'all talking about? I'm going to ask him. He well, yeah, he's from too. Florida. A lot of people are um, from Florida scam. You from yeah. Florida? I'm not. I said a lot of people are you from, from Florida scam. Why? We I'm from Florida. He's so, so I'm from, secretive about everything. No, I'm just, hey, I'm, I'm all right with no, you. I'm, I'm just trying to ask questions. <laughs> no. Devontae is back in his groove. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We about to shut it down. We about to finish this song. We about to get everything done that we came here to get done. And I'm just happy because I didn't think he was gonna make it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. You can't be Yeah! That's, 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 oh, okay. He just wanted to be in there. <laughs> Right. Like, them pads. He just I mean, you need people like that anyway, though. You need people like that in your corner. It is hard. So I guess, just stay off my YouTube channel. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Please. Because you already said you got one. And you saw it now? You already said you got one. I'm just starting. Now only. I have one what? You might make me cry or something, right? Why would I? I'm not. Why would I? I'm sorry. Gotta do everything for my mama, man. Gotta take care of everything. Just gotta do it for my mama, man. Got me grinding. 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 I'm grinding. Grinding summer. Grinding. Grinding. Fall, spring, and summer, man. Fall, spring, and winter. Winter, spring, summer. Winter, spring, summer. Take fall out. Okay. Grinding winter, spring, summer, man. Okay. So. On the way on, up, on the way up, on the way up, on the way up, on the way up. I can't be no failure. Oh, on, the on the way up, on the way up, on the way up. Gotta do it all for my mama, man. No, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's not how I worded that. Hey, that's what you hey, I, I changed it back. Hey, hey, hey okay, okay, hold on. Peg, you know? sing your part for me real okay. quick. Okay. Right. Peg, sing it. Cause no, sing your part for me. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up, on the way up. Can't be no failure, man. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up. Gotta do it all for my mama, man. On the way up. I gotta take care of everything. On the way up. I gotta do it for my mama, man. On the way up, on the way up, on the way up. Grinding summer wings, spring. Oh shit. Grinding summer. Hold on. Grinding summer, fall, winter, spring, man. Cause if you do it that way, you can fit all four in there. Grinding summer, fall, winter, spring. Grinding <laughs> fall, winter. spring. Hello. Fall, wing, ah, grinding summer, fall, winter, winter, spring. Yeah, grinding. What did I say summer, the first fall, time? Winter, yeah. spring, I said summer, summer fall, fall, winter, spring. Winter, fall through the spring, man. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. There okay. we go. One more time. One more time. Summer, fall, summer, winter, winter fall, fall through the spring, the spring man. Uh, there we go. He's a writer. I told you. Look at me. I'm rubbing. You rubbing up on me. I done changed words. It didn't seem I'm getting like you. Through. Just the whole how the cheeses and the. So y'all started with Chance the Rapper. Though. First of all, when you compare him to Chance the Rapper, I know he's. When you compare him to Chance the Rapper, I thought that was a compliment on any level. So I was just like, mm, but I don't no, know about that. No, I don't listen to Chance the Rapper. How it was said, that's the whole. It was.
we don't know you. I've never heard your music. You don't have a star on a Hollywood Walk of Fame. Like, bro, like, who? Yeah, but I did like how you was telling him to, just to be a little okay, more prepared before you get into the studio Absolutely. and start spending that money. I mean, everything you said was true. Right. But I just feel like it's a, yeah, the delivery. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all wanted, um, y'all wanted cut his cheeks and I gave him Okay, damn it, yes. I did tell him that he was stroking like a 12-year-old. Because, shit, now. You you can't be... Can you be tone deaf as a rapper? I don't think that's a thing. But can you be beat deaf like it's... He can't... He Get on time. Like, damn. It's all about not what you say, but how you say it. And I think maybe that's a lesson that somebody needs to... If I knew it was gonna be like this, I wouldn't invite nobody but Paige. So if what you what you want to invoke through this microphone needs to happen while you are hurt. So you need to be able to talk to this microphone. So that's not how it works. She's not singing as if y'all are recording. She's singing as if this microphone is recording. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to take a break? No. Okay, and I just want to know. How many Grammys had you won? Cause I was, I was like, dang, this is the guy that we've been needing. Like I've been needing him my whole life. If he got all this expertise, this this shit ain't working. You sound good, but your shit ain't work. Basically, you know, just like you just said. But I just still think, like, when it comes to people's craft and their passion, it's just kind of like constructive criticism is cool, but it's like, bro, how are you going about it? it? Just don't make no sense. There are non musically inclined people trying to insert their two cents. Because <laughs> if I can't be honest with you, I can be your friend. Yeah, okay. okay. And um, so it's just, it, 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 it's just extra for no reason, but I digress. He good now, I had to go we gonna work off. I had to give him a little direction, it's all good. It sound better? It does. It did. Yeah, because I told him, I was like, I want peach coffee, you give me raisin and potato salad. <laughs> After the premiere of On The Way Up Atlanta, be sure to tune into the official after show. Watch it again with Mark, an all new interactive game featuring weekly guests to discuss highlights from the show. See you at 10. Vontae has stormed out. I mean, he just left. So I'm about to go out here and see what's going on with him. Shit is so unnecessary. Get your ass in here and do this music. When Devante got upset and stormed out, the first thing that I could think was, I feel for him. I understand how it is to be, you know, very, very passionate about something and not everybody seeing your vision. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm so pissed. Why? Cause it just feel like I didn't get nothing accomplished that I came to get accomplished. Like I feel like I just wasted three hours worth of studio time. You didn't lay the track down? Yeah, I mean they basically tore the song up trying to change the whole damn song and basically I have to re-record the whole song. Because Okay, who are you going back and forth with? I mean it was like no no necessarily a back and forth, but it's just like everything everything I do I was doing it wrong. Everything I say I was doing it wrong. So here's my view on it, right? Like, I, I tell everybody who encounters Trey, I don't work for Willy Wonka. I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm not the person that you ask if you want it sugarcoated, because that's not what I do. I'm going to tell you the truth, because that's what the people around me do, which is why my music sounds good. You sound like you flapping on the one and the three. Mm -hmm. I need you, you on the two and the four. It's, the emphasis doesn't need to be on dope. Like, it, you, you, you trying too hard. Okay. No, so, like, not that, not that <laughs> slow, not that lazy, <laughs> but too Somewhere pop, in the middle, bro. Devontae. What? Please. So I'm not going to use food references. Right now, you stroking like a 12-year-old for the first time. I need you to stroke like you I'm 27 and been fucking for a while. <laughs> not ready. This isn't, you're still practicing. Because he was like, Devontae, you just practicing. Practicing? Man, whatever. What do I do? Do I just not perform the damn song? Because, I mean, like, what? I mean, what did I do? Like, what do I supposed to do at this point? Like, what do I do? Do I? I mean, cause I don't really have 
you know, five hundred dollars to put into a song. I'm planning a party. Like my, the party is in two weeks. So, I mean, I don't, I don't right now. And maybe it's maybe it's my fault. Maybe I should have been back into the studio, been working on it and doing this. And I'm trying to do stuff at the last minute. And maybe it's my fault. I mean, I'm not faulting them on it. So I get to Devontae's car and I don't, it sounds like he on the phone with somebody. Frustrated. Devontae. Hmm? I'm just coming to check on you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. I'm just frustrated. I felt that. I kind of see. It's just like, I, I just, all that. I understand what everybody's saying. I understand that. But what people don't understand is like, like I feel like I've wasted this whole studio time. I'm planning a party. I just really wanted to perform the song, fix the little things where it was and move on. Maybe come back and fix it later. But I don't. I just feel like I just wasted time. Don't get me wrong. It, everything, what everybody was saying was fine. But it's just like. No, I kind of feel like it just, is, it kind of got. Not it's not, it's we not didn't, I didn't, party. I didn't get anything accomplished besides good advice. Don't get me wrong. It, what everybody said was great. But now I feel like it is, and I'm not mad at nobody. I'm mad at myself, so really. And the song is still not finished. Now I feel like the whole song was garbage. That's just no, how I feel. No, don't feel that I way. I mean, I just, I mean, you know, this is. It's not garbage. I, I definitely, I don't want you to feel that way with me being on the song. Well, no, no, no. Your it's definitely not. Like, no. Then, then I all of it's like, fine. You it's go just in a, and you knock your stuff hey, out. Hey. It's just a, hey, <laughs> hi, how are you? It's just a matter of that you need to, I feel like you need to sit down and go through it by yourself without everybody, you know, pretty much uh, putting in a two cent every five minutes because that's not a real setting of progression. Right. You know, you're not able to progress right here in this exact moment right, right. now. But the more that you go home and ponder on it and listen to it, you may be able to find spots where you can progress as, you know, how you want the song to sound. At the end of the day, it's your song. Right. Right. I just want Devontae to know that at the end of the day, this his song. It don't matter what nobody else got to say about it. Like, this is a song that he made for his mom for the time that he felt, you know. So that's all he got to portray in the song. He, If he just get through his head and nobody else's opinion really matters, then we'll be good to go. And that's really all I want Devontae to understand. I definitely, like, I don't want you to give up on the song, I, I mean, I... I don't want to either because no, you I mean, shouldn't. You shouldn't. You know, this was like the main part of my party to you know everything that my mother went through. Right. You know, this year with her um, Dufresne syndrome, and you know, it was just a part of my life where I didn't. I you know I I just wanted to give up, and when I you know created the song, like it it gave me strength to keep moving because you know that was my mama, and she was sick, and I didn't know what was wrong with her, and right. You know, that's my mama, man. It is like they don't understand. Like they just, you know. Don't get me wrong. Like I know everybody's giving advice, but like that was a part of that. Like this song is what got me through. Like I, I, I didn't work for three weeks. I was about to, I was about to quit everything. This song kept me out of a dark place, man. They don't like. I just went through a whole. It's just a, a whole bunch of emotions that I really wasn't prepared. Wasn't prepared for. For because I really thought this was gonna be fun. You know. Everybody's gonna have fun, you know, maybe say a little something you hear, but they got serious and I wasn't prepared for it. Like, I just wasn't prepared for it. But anyway, let me wrap this session up and um, I just, I'll just talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Oh. Bye. I do film, you're doing music right now. Right. But at the same time, I know how it is doing film. Right, and, but that's the thing. <laughs> I know I, how it is. You're going to catch hell regardless. Damn right. if you do, damn if you don't. But you got to stay true to you. Right. Regardless of what other people think, do it for you. I did a whole right. short film called <laughs> Fuck Love. You know how many people was mad about that? Right. How you Mark is speaking nothing but the truth. This man is younger than me, but he's very mature. Yeah. But it's like, it's just more to it besides just this song. Like, this song, this part is deep. Even I know. these words, like you don't know, like when I called Paige to do this to come to the studio with me, like I was, I was depressed. Like my mother was in the hospital, and we didn't know what was wrong with her. I and I didn't like that's that's that was that was my way of not quitting school. Like uh, that's it, all that stuff is real. Like I know. that's not something I just came up with because like my, my mother was my mother still ain't working. So I did recently just found out that my mom has lupus. So I definitely understand 100% where Devontae is coming from and why this song is so personal. To my mom, she has lupus and we, yeah. it was hard finding that out. So right. I, I know how and you see, feel. My, and my sister has lupus. Yeah, we found that out. Like, like, like this year was a fucked up year. Like, but it, it, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad year as far as 
like these years, other years where I didn't want to live, but it was, <laughs> it was a year of okay. No matter what goes on, you have to keep moving because yeah, at the end of the I day, the yeah, exactly. You, I feel like that what you just said. You need to take from this right here. No matter what, you need to keep moving. Right. Keep, don't let this be a halt in Facts. what you're trying to do. Right. This should just only be a a push towards what you're Facts. trying to do in a maybe more a more of a clear eye. Right. But don't let this situation halt you from the ultimate goal, which Facts. is doing this song for your mother. Right. Absolutely. Next time on On the Way of Atlanta. To say it ain't even just that. Like, I've been supposed to be on vocal rest for the past couple days. I gotta say I'm sorry because I was supposed to do your review video. And, um. <laughs> Ooh, you put on the right song, too. <laughs> you can tell by my red solo cup how the night went. I'm about to call Trey T right here and he's not coming. Devontae's crying again. Breathe. It's okay. Fuck it up if it's your birthday, bitch. Oh. Fuck it up if it's your birthday. The end too late. It's my birthday. Okay. I'm just telling people it's naked as hell. Y'all see more. Way up on the way up on the way up on the way up. I can't be a failure, man. On the way up on the way up on the way up. Just gotta do it for my mama, man. On the way up. I gotta take care of the song. You gon' stop posing wrong. Let me see you work. Throwing dollars and you're killing, killing, and then they fall from the ceiling.